How's it going, you guys? It's been real. And honestly, I miss you guys. Like, I don't know if you guys missed me, but I sure did. And I've just been... There's a couple of things that I've been doing lately. And one of them is I have just been teaching. Hello, my singers. And we are back with educational stuff that is that involves all the things singing and just finding the right vibe for your voice and your overall artistry if you guys don't know who i am my name is nikki and i am a voice coach and a singer here in los angeles california i also do online classes and if you are interested in taking a class with me go ahead and check out the links below it's in the description box and we'll go from there so in today's video, I wanted to go over a question that I popped on Instagram and I could not believe the response that I got. So I'm going to just, so the question that I literally asked was, do you know the difference between a voice teacher and a vocal coach? And y'all, the response is, so I did a poll. A poll? A poll! I did a poll and this is what I got. Can y'all see that? No, because the sun is right on my face. Oh wait, that's my next picture! Okay, hold on. Y'all, I'm just, I'm just gonna hold that. So, that's a response. So, you guys, 29% knows the difference between a voice teacher and a vocal coach. And 71% of you guys said no. And I can pre pretty sure I know who the 29% is. But you guys, so I'm going to try to break it up to you guys. I'm going to try to break it down to you. And this is good for you to kind of find and see what is best for you. What do you need? Uh, do you need a vocal coach or do you need a voice teacher? Okay, so let's break it down. So first I'm gonna explain what both do and what the objective for both professions are. So for both professions, their motive is to have you learn the ropes of your own voice. That's exactly that in the simplest terms. And I'm gonna, it's like Jesus status. In the most simplest terms, and I don't want to use anything like crazy terms here, I want to simplify it as much as possible, but these two professions, voice teachers and a vocal coach, they both have an objective to have you learn more about your voice and have you utilize your voice the way you intend or the way it is intended to be used, okay? but. There is a fine difference. Now, I've done a lot of research about this and it actually just blew my mind that you don't need a degree to be a voice teacher or a vocal coach, which is mind-blowing. Is that always the safe way to go about things? Absolutely not. It's absolutely not. Your teacher uh, or your vocal coach, they must be well-versed with methods and theories of the voice not just singing but the voice if there is a, a singer who's seasoned and obviously he's a veteran and you know this singer has a great reputation and has built a career for himself or herself and now has decided to go into voice teaching or singing teaching there's pros and cons. Voice teachers, we focus on the quality of your voice. We listen into the individual's voice and we don't diagnose because we, unless we have a medical degree, we never diagnose anything, but we do have a good amount of knowledge in terms of vocal health. So we can hear if you have some sort of vocal damage or vocal imbalance uh, in your larynx or in your vocal folds and we recommend you to see a doctor or an EMT. That's the idea. 
that's the idea and we are basing our teaching on again the quality of your voice and the the size and the range and the control and we do all of these through a lot of exercises that are tailored to your range teachers objectives are to help you navigate your voice uh, around your voice in a way where eventually you don't need us kind of thing right because you'll understand the different tones that your voice will produce when certain muscles are ignited and that's where facts come in where we uh, where we teach you a little bit of anatomy and physi uh, physiology, right? So the anatomy is the bone structure, the muscle structure of your body, and then physiology, physiology, and the physiology of it is the function, right? So we put those together and we base our, uh, our teaching and our quote unquote coaching through, through muscle movement basically and for muscle movement and we have you understand which muscles ignite what sound and you know what happens when you raise your palate as opposed to just dropping your jaw what sound what kind of timbre do we do you produce that sort of thing right um would you say that we we get in touch with emotions and and all that good stuff of course right but we also back that up with factual factual sense so if you're thinking about it we're more focused on techniques we're very heavy on techniques and hopefully you latch onto that and then you can deliver and eventually through many years of training with your voice teacher you can eventually go off on your own as voice teachers we this is what I believe though okay so again vocal coaches and voice teachers surprisingly you don't need a degree for that but as long as uh, you have, I guess, extensive training with your one-on-one -on -one coach from previous years and you have a very good reputation, then you can definitely coach someone or teach someone. But I think, I, for me personally, I would go with someone who has gone under teacher training, okay? As voice teachers too, we are very flexible with what we know in terms of genre. We have to be open with different genres. And that also goes to say, if somebody comes to me for classical training, classical voice training, I can teach them that. I can teach them the ropes to uh, classical training because I was trained under bel canto. I will say though, as open as I am to most genres, there are some genres that I just can't teach. Uh, I know I have the knowledge of it, but to demonstrate it and show them the ropes as to how to get their voice to do such things, such as like screamo, there's, yes, it, it is it is very much a technique. I can't, that's something that I can't deliver. And so I stay away from that, right? Does that mean that's a bad sound? Absolutely not. It's just not my expertise. So I just don't, but I am, trained to teach bel canto i also know a little bit of sls and then um all obviously when i went to coburn we were so heavy on the alexander technique which is really getting in tune with your body and putting your body first before listening and hearing your voice kind of thing right so a lot of those things are uh come to play in in voice teaching so in the end your voice teacher a should is recommended to have a degree or a certification in either voice techniques, vocal techniques, or voice pedagogy, and is open to most genres. Okay, so that's what voice teachers do. Now let's go to vocal coaches. So vocal coaches, they are they are great and they're so dynamic and they're very into um, the repertoire of a singer. They're very into the repertoire. They are also into stage presence, so they're in, they're very external, right? So they're into stage presence, how you should look on stage, your bodily actions, responding to the song kind of thing, responding to the feel of the song, what is the mood of the song. That's what vocal coaches do and how you can emulate and imitate your voice according to a certain mood. So that's what vocal coaches do, which is great as well. Um, and also vocal coaches, they, uh, 
practice on or they're heavily set on phrases so if we can uh, um, phrases meaning expressions expression of the song so if i can say like this wild puppy if i can say that in a happy tone this wild puppy and then now you're gonna say in a sad tone this wild puppy so that kind of thing i don't know if i did that right but you know it's all good that's what vocal coaches do okay so vocal coaches they're very external and they are after your performance. And obviously everyone, both voice teachers and vocal coaches, they're also there for you for your vocal health. After all, they are there for you, for your overall being, right? For your overall well-being. So now I know the question you're asking for, what then do I need? Okay, so what do I need? What should I get? Should I get a voice teacher or should I get a vocal coach? Well, let me tell you something, okay? So there are some that can do both. And honestly, these back in the back in the day, okay, back in the day, maybe not, but the sun is just like, oh, hold on here, but okay, so what do I really need? <sighs> okay, so this is where I kind of tell you, it's it's up to you, what, what are you looking for? So if you're looking for, I like to base it on this way, neither voice teachers or vocal coaches are, you know, good or bad. They're just different. They're just different teaching and they have they have the same objective as to help you with your voice, but they have two different methods. And are they interchangeable? Absolutely not. Okay, so let me okay, so let me just sum it down for you guys. In short, a voice teacher, they go over quality, size, range, and control through various exercises. They're very good with their anatomy and physiology and will teach you the backbone of your voice through science and facts. They are not required to get a degree, but they are highly recommended to get a degree because how can you not know about your anatomy and physiology without a vocal degree or a certification in vocal pedagogy? So think about those things. As a vocal coach, they are very much into their style, into the singer's style, their repertoire, coloration, phrasing, that means expression. Uh, expression on the song or expression towards the song and think of them as like a quick fix for a certain project so a very short term right um, and can they do both can can a teacher do both coach and teach at the same time absolutely and that's something that you can do research on so read about them read about their about me on you know on on their website uh, most of us voice teachers do have a website oh I didn't plug that in huh so I do have a website too it's my fatherstudio.com it's not my name and I'll go figure but yes that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys found this video helpful and cleared a little bit for you guys if you have any questions you can always comment below be nice comment below and yeah and if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll know I have a new video coming out every Friday. All right, guys, till then, keep singing. Mm -hmm.